For 50 years, Paul Simon has been a leader in American pop music. He's written dozens of classic songs like The Sounds of Silence, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lava, and of course, You Can Call Me Al. CBS News cultural correspondent Wynton Marsalis talks with Simon, musician to musician, about how he became one of the most important artists of his generation. The Mississippi Delta, shining like a national guitar. For half a century, the music of Paul Simon has taken us to extraordinary places. And I'm going to Graceland, into Graceland. With insights on love. She said, losing love is like a window in your heart. Longing, so far away from home, and laughter. Oh, we had a lot of fun, had a lot of money. His songs illuminate what we all have in common. You don't have to create it, it it's already in existence. You just have to reveal it. You know? You can beat us with chains. Simon is a modern bard whose genius is rooted in the endless possibilities of America. History train. His first inspiration. And I remember there was a radio. Childhood weekends filled with baseball and the family radio. I would listen to, in those days, there's only one station in New York, it was 1010 Winds. It's now it's a news station. But then it was a station where uh, Alan Freed played uh, rock and roll six days a week. Yes, we get So what he was playing was R&B vocal groups like Sonny Till and the Orioles, uh, Ren. The then he'd play uh, maybe some Ray Charles, maybe some Ruth Brown. Then all of a sudden he was playing Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly. Uh, to me it was all one, it was all the same. Part of one expression. It was right? all absolutely the same. When I was a little boy. This integrated soundtrack inspired him and ignited an unquenchable spirit. Hello, darkness, my old friend. By the mid 60s, he would dominate those same airwaves with a haunting anthem that spoke directly to the national soul. Of silence. How's a 21-year-old person thinking about the words of that song? I have no idea. All I can say is at the time I thought, hmm, that's better than I usually do. <laughs> you know, I, I really, right. I really right. had I no, no concept at all about what is magical about inspiration, you mm -hmm. know. And, and I don't think about inspiration at all. I don't believe that you need inspiration. I don't say I'm going to wait around until some inspiration comes. No, if I'm going to write, I have to go to my writing space and, you know, start to write. People say I'm crazy. I got diamonds on the soles of my shoes, yeah. Paul's work ethic and talent propelled him to the apex of American popular music. He's recorded 224 songs and 17 albums. Through it all, he's followed his greatest gift, the ability to engage human fundamentals deeper than music itself. These songs are true, these days are ours, these tears are free. It's a rare skill that leads him to cross the borders of genre and culture in creating new and meaningful collaborations. I find musicians, I'm sure you feel the same way, all around the world are very, very open to mm -hmm. a dialogue of music. You're playing what you love, and you want to hear what they love and what they play. Mm -hmm. Well, cultural barriers fall to an right. amazing degree. Right. As a result, his music is a seamlessly woven tapestry of diverse grooves, melodies, timbres, and techniques. Everything, songs, recordings, and performances are so well executed as to appear effortless. But in truth, he is a meticulous craftsman. Four felt uh, too short. But eight feels too long, so why don't we try six? Who honors the sacred pact between artists and audience by giving everything all of the time. You can call me Al, you know, which I call the national anthem because everybody stands up. You can call me Al. As soon as we play You Can Call Me Al, everybody, everybody's, all of a sudden everybody stands up, you know.
It's not my favorite song to sing. I could call you Betty. Betty it's usually the song that makes me stop touring. Somewhere in the middle of a tour, <laughs> I'm doing You Can Call Me Al, and I say to myself, what am I doing here, man? <laughs> I'm just imitating a guy singing You Can Call Me Al. I got to get out of here. That's true. If Even at 70, that, I mean, the integrity of his artistry remains steadfast. War is passion for us. Retaining its initial vitality as the music continues to evolve. When I was in my 20s and 30s, really, mm -hmm. pretty much when if I thought a song was really good and I liked it, so did everybody else. That's not the case anymore. Mm -hmm. you know? But I'm past that point in, uh, in my life. Uh, I, I'm only concentrating on what can I make and how, how can I do this without lying. In restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Today, his classic and enlightened lyrics speak to new generations street Still seducing the country more than half a century later